Let's begin with the inventory efficiency ratios. The two ratios are inventory turnover ratio and inventory days ratio. Both ratios use the same financial information. They require the inventory balance of the balance sheet and the cost of goods sold or cost of sales figure from the income statement. The inventory turnover ratio is calculated by taking the cost of sales or cost of goods sold and dividing it by either the ending inventory balance or the average inventory balance over the period. Using either the ending inventory balance or the average inventory balance are both acceptable. It's just important to remain consistent in the way you calculate it throughout all your analysis. The inventory turnover ratio indicates how quickly a company sells its inventory. If the ratio is very low, it may mean that the company has too much inventory or is just not very quick at selling it. If the inventory turnover ratio is very high, it means the inventory turns over or sells extremely quickly and does not spend a long time on the balance sheet. All else being equal, a higher inventory turnover is better than a low one. The other inventory efficiency ratio that we're going to look at is the inventory days ratio. This is used to measure the average amount of time that inventory is on hand or remaining on the balance sheet. The ratio is calculated by taking the inventory, multiplying it by 365 days in the year, or the number of days in the period that's being used, and then dividing that by the cost of sales or cost of goods sold. The inventory days ratio is interpreted in the opposite way as the turnover ratio, meaning that the lower the number is, the better. A low inventory days ratio means there is a low number of days that the company keeps its inventory on the balance sheet before selling it. For example, a figure of 10 on the inventory days ratio would mean that the company on average sells all of its inventory within 10 days.